Praise the Lord. We truly thank God for being on the Zoom app again tonight for our prophetic youth encounter. We thank God for each and every minister that has came before us to tell us about sounding our trumpet. We truly thank God for all what all he's doing. We ask God right now in the name of Jesus to bless Prophet Emma Rose as she come before us as we continue to hear the good news, as we continue to feel good about what God can do in our life. As we continue to look to the hill from which cometh all our help, cause all our help comes from the Lord. As we continue to sound our trumpets tonight, we want God to hear us as we cry to him. We want God to hear us as we depend on him to lead us and guide us, to deliver us and give us the things we need through his word. Bless every word tonight, God, in the name of Jesus, everyone on the app, everyone that is listening, in Jesus' name, that we together, in unity, and knowing his word, that we can sound our trumpet, and we all can be blessed. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen, 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 hallelujah. Amen for that powerful prayer. Hallelujah. Look, <laughs> you know opposition come, right? When you're doing something right. Hallelujah. So on tonight, I'm going to ask everyone under the sound of my voice to please share this broadcast. Amen. Share on your timeline. Not only on your timeline, share, amen, on in some groups. Amen. Share in some groups as well as messenger start some watch parties amen so that this word can go far on tonight we want all these videos from this week to go a long ways amen amen hallelujah before we bring on the woman of god amen i want to do a few announcements amen you can go out and get giant slayer author Shonda Obi, amen. You can get it on Amazon. And it's Giant Slayer opening the gateway to deliverance, amen. Amen. This book is actually written, the first volume is written for those that are newly into their Christian walk, amen. You just, you know, receive the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, amen. And 
you repent of your sins. And this is a good book to help you on your journey. It's a 30-day journal, and it will help you, amen, to uh, keep deliverance and to keep God first in your life, amen? Volume 2 coming soon, amen? We also um, want to announce that we do have uh, 6 a.m. prayer, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays on God's Miracle Prayer Line. That is Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That would be 5 a.m. Central Standard Time and 3 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Amen? Amen. I can understand about the ones in California not wanting to get up at 3 a.m. in the morning. We understand. Amen? So the number to call is 480-297-0773. Again, that number is 480-297-0773. And the access code is 660-9925. Again, the access code is 660-9925. Pound. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So, amen. I'm going to call on our prophetess, Kiana, and she could come, amen, before our um, speaker on tonight and render us with just a little small um, solo. Amen. If you don't mind. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Bless God. Lord, keep me day by day in a pure and perfect way i want to live i want to live the in a building not made by hand. I'm just a stranger here, traveling through this barren land. But Lord, I know there's a building somewhere. Oh, I know a building not made by hand. Lord, keep my body strong. So that I can do no wrong and give me grace to run this race, Lord, I know for building not made by hand. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. For that, for that song. Amen. Thank you, woman of God. Amen. Tonight, we are introducing you, amen, to the woman of God of the hour. Amen. Prophetess Emma Rose. Prophetess Emma Rose, amen, has been a part of um, God's Milk of Prayer Line. Amen. Since 2012. Amen. And she has two lovely daughters who run track. Amen. She is a powerful woman of God and a wonderful mother to her two daughters. Amen. They are doing absolutely wonderful in track. Amen. You might want to look them up. Amen. Amen. Um, she has she is um also um, ordained as of July the 14th. Amen. And we just thank God for her, um, for her being a part of the ministry as long as she have. We also would like to um, 
thank her bishop, um, Bishop Sherman Watkins, amen, uh, her pastor, amen, amen. So we just want to just say thank God, amen, for Prophetess Emma Rose, even through all of the obstacles, all of the trials and tribulations, amen. She stood firm. She stood firm on the uh, solid foundation of Jesus Christ. We're just proud of her as well. Fireball, fireball. And we're going to ask right now for uh, 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 Pastor Patricia Hill, amen, prophetess, and Bishop Mills, amen, to come on camera, amen, come on, prophetess uh, uh, Emma, amen, come on camera, amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Uh, Pastor Patricia. Amen. And I want everybody to look at the camera where Prophet Emma is right now and tell Prophet Emma. To push, hey, my, 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 hallelujah, push, yes, hallelujah, push, yes, push, push. hallelujah, push, yes, we help you push, push. Hey. yes, push. we help you in the push name of Jesus, hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah and give you glory, hallelujah and honor, oh God. Bless the woman of God. Come on right now. In the name of Jesus, let the word of my mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable in your sight, oh God. Oh God, we thank you right now. In the name of Jesus, God, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Push. Push in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Yea, God. Oh, glory to God. Yeah. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. I, uh, I honor the Lord who is the head of my life, my father, the one who has kept me when I couldn't keep myself. I honor my pastor, Bishop Sherman Watkins. I honor the leaders that has been in my life, Pastor Tr Patricia Hill, Global One Oval Ministry, those that have networked with me. Um, this topic, I, I didn't know at first what I was going to speak on, but I thought about the trials that many of us face today. I thought about the trials that I've been through in my personal life. I I, I wanted to, she said, sound the trumpet. And I said, God, the title is sound the trumpet. How would I sound the trumpet? So that not only this word is a blessing, but as I'm ministering to your people, I'm also ministering to myself. That's the key for change in my life. And the topic that God gave me was trouble brought me here because of my anointing. And if I had to do a subtopic, it would be God employed my trouble to work for me, sound a trumpet. So we gonna work right there. And I said, well, Lord, where did you want me to go? And many people heard the story of an awesome man named Joseph. I wanted to give a little bit elaboration because we're dealing with the millennium. We're dealing with the youth and where I wanted to impartate a word. And I said, well, God, how am I, how am I going to do that? And he took me to a familiar story. I'm giving a history of a little bit of Joseph before I get into the word. But Joseph, Joseph dreamed the dream at 17 years old. He was the 11th child out of 12 sons. His father name was Jacob and his mother was his second wife named Rachel. And Joseph dreamed this dream at 17 years old. And how many of you know when you come into the realm of God and you have a gift that God has given you, you don't understand it. And even when you go to those that may be over you, such as his father, his mother, his brothers, those that he shared his dream. I can see where Joseph really didn't mean any harm, but because he was favor of his father, 
because he was born from him as an old age. And that's a miracle. You know, nowadays people have problems with fertility, but back then God allowed jo Jacob, um, Joseph's father, to have him at his old age. And so he was blessed with a coat of many colors. And I could see how all the siblings could get jealous because you are, you are honoring the, this young man that we are all still the bloodline. But even though he dreamed that dream at 17 years old, as we get ready to go into the word, we understand that Joseph did not manifest it until he was in his 30s. Now, I said, wow, just because you got a dream in, your, in the inside does not mean everybody understands. It does not mean that everybody is happy for you. It could be your siblings. It could be your coworkers. It could be your family. It could be your own boss. Come on, somebody. But when you are anointed with a dream, God will be with you. And I ask if you would go with me, Prophet Kiana, um, to Genesis 37 and 5 through 11, because I want to give you some word before I get wind up um, in, this, in, in, in this chapter. So we're going to go to Genesis 37, verse 5 through 11. We're going to start right there. Are you with me? Amen. Yes. Are you with me? Let, Amen. Us, let us go right there. Now Joseph had a dream, and he told it to his brothers, and they hated him even more. So he said to them, please hear this dream which I have dreamed. There we were, binding sheaves in the field. Then behold, my sheaf arose, and also stood upright. And indeed, your sheaves stood all around and bowed down to my sheep. And his brothers said to him, shall you indeed reign over us? Or shall you indeed have dominion over us? So they hated him even more for his dreams and for his words. Then he dreamed still another dream and told it to his brothers and said, look, I have dreamed another dream. And this time the sun, the moon, and the 11 stars bowed down to me. So he told it to his father and his brothers and his father rebuked him and said to him, what is this dream that you have dreamed? Shall your mother and I and your brothers indeed come to bow down to the earth before you? And his brothers envied him, but his father kept the matter in mind. Amen, amen. So as she read that, I thought about that. Even the message that we heard on, there, on yesterday when Prophet Kiana was talking about reject rejection, Sometimes when you have a gift in God, it needs to be nurtured and it needs to be around the right people so that it can birth out. And just like my topic is trouble brought me because of my anointing. Yet he dreamed a dream. He had not understood the anointing of God that was over his life. And sometimes we tell our dreams to the wrong people. And sometimes we go there because we expect for them to help us to nurture. But the, the, the word of God said that his own father rebuked him because sometime it could come out wrong as we know he was only 17 years old when God began to deal with him he didn't realize that he was going to be able to work in a prophetic gift and as she read and um and and verse uh verse 37 and 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 11 that the brother was envy you got to be careful who's envy of your dream. They may not see where it is God is taking you. They may not understand why you're going through what you're going through. But be careful that when you get a dream that you hold on to it. Now let us go to the 37 and 23rd verse and 24. We're going to work this thing. Can you just work with me? We're going to work this thing. Verse 23. So it came to pass when Joseph had come to his brothers that they stripped Joseph of his tunic, the tunic of many colors that was on him. Then they took him and cast him into a pit and the pit was empty. There was no water in it. See, many times, now I want to go into the spiritual one with this. Many times we have a dream and we tell our brothers and sisters, it could be our brothers and sisters in Christ. It could be, it could be our natural brothers and sisters. It could be the, our coworkers, our best friend. We tell them a dream. And because our dream is not on the rim or the level where people think they're, they'll talk about you. 
They'll say you'll never amount to anything. They'll say your business won't come to pass. They say God can't use you like he said he was going to use you. In this case, Joseph brother threw him in a pit and they ripped him of his coat. But sometime in a church house, I believe we don't have leaders and other people that will try to rend you of your anointing, discourage you with the word, not all of them, but you got to be careful to cover your anointing and prayer. Good God Almighty. And so we're going to move around in this thing. We're going to move. And the 28 verse, what does it say? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before we go to the 28 verse, when when they took him and threw him in a pit, because I want to go through the story as I give the word of God. When they took him and threw him in a pit, somebody, they were sold. The Bible said that he was sold for 20 pieces of silver in verse 28, as, as you read it along the way. He was sold. The Mennonites, they had came along. They took him in a pit. And he was sold into slavery. And God brought him to a man by the name of Potiphar, which was already in rulership. Now he was sold into slavery. Now a lot of us were sold into slavery by the tongues of our generational curse, by the tongues of some of your mothers, some of your fathers, some of those that tried to push your dreams aside as a child. Put a psychological prison in your mind. But God, when God, when the anointing is with you, it doesn't matter who sold you or who sold you out. When the anointing is with you, my God, that no matter where you go, God will cause favor to come upon you. And what happened was as Joseph was sold into slavery and came into part of his house, the Bible said that the anointing was so on him, on the gifts that God had already gave him, that he was discovered by his gift. Because what does the Bible say? Your gift will make room for you. And when you work your gift with no motive, and when you work your gift because God gave it to you, and you just want to see the will of God come through, he'll open up doors that no man could close. Hold on before I get excited right now. I want to go to the word of God. Let's let's go to the 39th chapter, verse 3 and 6. Let me see. Let's go right there. Good God Almighty. Because God master. will allow you, before you read, because God will allow the people that sold you into prison, that the prisoner guard and the people that have ruler over you, to see the glory of God on you. They can talk under the ocean. I feel the Holy Ghost. We getting there, Kiana. I feel the Holy Ghost, y'all. They can talk about you. They can say all matters of things about you. They can put you in the hardest place to work. But because the favor of God is over your life and the anointing is over your life, what was hard to them will become easy to you. What was hard to them will become prosper to you. Your hands will make things blessed. And the people around you cannot help but to see the power of God over you. If you don't believe me, let's go here. What does it say, Prophet Kiana? And his master saw that the Lord was with him and that the Lord made all he did to prosper in his hand. So Joseph found favor in his sight and served him. Then he made him overseer of his house and all that he had put under his authority. So it was from the time that he had made him overseer of his house and all that he had, that the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house for Joseph's sake. And the blessing of the Lord was on all that he had in the house and in the field. Thus he left all that he had in Joseph's hand, and he did not know what he had except for the bread which he ate. Now Joseph was handsome in form and appearance. Now listen, let, let me work that thing right there. The Holy Ghost will cause the anointed to look good. I said the anointing is attractive, huh? And so somebody said, what this got to do? Well, it was his trouble. It was, he didn't even know that he was a prophet. At 17, he just knew what God showed him. And so his trouble brought him into this state because of the anointing of God over his life. The anointing thought, the people thought that he was arrogant. And the people of God and, and his family member thought that maybe he was uppity. Maybe that he was too overconfident. But the anointing will place a confidence in you. Because when God called you to something, you wrestle.
wrestle with that thing. You can't even sleep until you release what God said release. And because the anointing over his life brought him with favor, that he was thrown and sold and broke down. Now, good God Almighty, now God is about to employ his trouble to work for him. I said, we sound in the trouble. And what's going on in many of our lives today is that you wonder why you're going through trouble. You wonder why the pain and, and, and you barely can feed the family and you lost your job and, and, and everybody going crazy and pooking them ready to shoot and just everything, chaos don't broke out. I tell you what's going on. God is employing your trouble to work for you. I come to sound the trumpet that God didn't want you on that job anyway because you was ordained to create your own job. I come to sound the trumpet that give you, if God didn't move you, you never would have left to get the position you was in right now at another job. I come to sound the trumpet that if you did never knew what was going on with your kids, had pandemic never shut you up in your house. Some of y'all learning about your family that you knew. Some of y'all learning about your kids that you never knew so that you could break generational curses so that you could spend time and so that you can build their character. I tell you, trouble brought you into this situation because the anointed, some of you didn't even know you was anointed. All you knew is something was calling you to do something and you didn't know what it is. It was calling you to build this, this, this machine. It was calling you to go back to school. You thought I was too old, but now the pandemic made you go back to school and didn't even care about your age because you know you got to do something different in this time. I come to sound the trumpet. Joseph, Joseph's own siblings was jealous of him. Joseph was a prophet and wasn't aware that he was a prophet. And when he was bought out of slavery and he and, and, and the anointing of God was over him, that the overseer, that the king, that at that time, Potiphar even seen God in you. Listen, some people see God in you when you don't even see God yourself. You gotta be careful who wants to play or play with the God in you when you're just now growing. Get around people that's gonna burst out the ministry and not shit on it and not allow it to die because in this season God is using those that is willing to be used and so what happened is let me go on with the story because I can't read it all so I got to paraphrase I got to keep it moving because I'm not going to be here all day Joseph anointed made room for him that he became overseer of Potiphar's house but because it says right here, Joseph was a handsome man. Can you imagine seeing somebody fine and anointed? It'll blow your mind, the anointed and the attraction that they're already beautiful and wonderfully made. And Joseph was minding his own business, serving the man of God. And part of his wife comes trying to get him to, to lay down with him. But because of his faithfulness, and because of the God in him, he did not allow it to. So she lied on him and she lied on him again. So once again, he don't work from the pit to the palace, now back into the pit. And so the Bible says that at that time that she took it a bond to the king of kings and she took a piece of his clothing and it put him back in jail because the wife of the man of God, the, the king lied on the man of God and placed him back in jail. Oh, but in that prison time, he still was in prison. The, and if, as you read, you'll see that he had favor with the God. For somebody that's locked up or that's been locked up, can you imagine being locked up and God still giving you favor? Things getting on your books and you don't even know how it's getting on your books. I come to tell you that he'll God that'll take care of you in the pit. I come to tell you that he'll God that'll send the guard to give you the living water of Jesus. The Bible said that even while he was in the prison, that there was a butler in the baker that had a dream. And during the process of them having a dream, good God Almighty, one of them, he did, they didn't understand their dream. But how many of you know that when you're dreaming a dream or you're about to birth out something, that God would have sent a rain of word in the midst of you about to birth out something? Good God Almighty. And so Joseph, not knowing that he was dealing in a prophetic until later on in the years, the Bible said, we're going to go ahead and read in a little bit. The Bible said that he told the butler and the baker the dream. 
Mm -hmm. And one of them, he told that they was going to die and the king was going to wake up in three days and he was going to restore one of them and the other one wasn't going to make it. And these dreams came to pass. And the Bible said that after these dreams came to pass, he told them after he told them the dream, just don't forget about me. I don't belong in here. Send word to the king. Send word to the king that I was the one, good God Almighty, that spoke the living word. But sometimes we give a word to people and they forget those that bless the good God. You get a word from your pastor and you forget about your pastor because we in a pandemic. You think you ain't supposed to tithe no more. We get in the situation because have you ever met somebody that they humble? when they need you good god almighty but the moment that they get lifted up they forget about you see the same thing that happens today it happened in our history book you know that book called the bible well they forgot about him and joseph just kept on working and he kept on working and he kept on working and the same dream that he had that, 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 that the part of her began to have a dream, good God Almighty. And part of her could not understand his dream. And, 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 and the trouble that brought him in the prison because of his anointing, it's the same drama that took him out because of his anointing. And God employed the trouble that was in the prison to sound the trumpet and say, I know somebody that could solve your dream. I know somebody who has the King of Kings and Lord of Lord in his ear. I know somebody who seek his face day and night. I know somebody that wakes up at five in the morning. Don't care about what the world think about them. But I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise will be continue to be in my mouth. And so part of us was getting bothered in his spirit. He said, I need somebody to come and give me this dream. I need a word from God. And because I, I got caught up in religion and not relationship, I'm not sure if I can live in your shot. I'm paraphrasing. I'm not sure if I'm wise enough to understand what my dream is. But there was a man in prison by the name of Joseph, good God Almighty, who began to get older and wiser in Christ. And part of a shit from him. And he told him that there was a famine coming, such as today. Come on now. That there was something happening that you needed to store up your corn and that you needed to store up your food during the good times. Right now, where it seems like everything's okay, I hear a word from heaven saying, Keep your house in order. Stack up your water. Stack up everything that you need. Just because it seems like it's good right now just because i'm giving you overflow be ready so you don't have to get ready and so and so the word of god came and part of a begin and he began to do what the man of god did said and the famine came and the famine came prophet kiana we can ready to go there and the famine came i feel the anointing the famine came and the man of god did what the prophet of God did that was in the prison that end up going to the palace that end up being a slave that end up getting in trouble because of his anointing. And a lot of us is in trouble because our anointing won't allow us to shut our mouth. A lot of us get in trouble with religion, people, you know, folks, that's just so deep because the anointing of God is calling us to push in a new light. And because we tied to tradition and it's not comfortable for people this way. And because under the old shit, baby, I'm comfortable with just shouting. And I'm comfortable with just hearing some worship music. But I get a little uncomfortable when it's time to pray, when it's time to turn down my plate. All of a sudden, I got all this power to shout. But now, because it's time to fast and pray, then that go my high blood pressure. That go my under the ocean, baby, baby. That go my under the ocean, my condition. Then start asking God, direct me so that my health won't fail you. But God, I have a desire to seek you in a new life. And I need the Shekinah glory of God to fall down deep on me. If you can read with me, we're going to the 40, the 41th 40 
one chapter of Genesis, the 41 through the 44 verse. Wait a minute, Kiana. And, and, and what happened was, good God Almighty, that when the man of God heard the man of God, that trouble brought him out of the land of Canaan and to a new realm. And God is telling some of y'all, it's time to move. It's time to move from a dry church. It's time to move from one city to another city. It's time to move from that relationship and to a relationship. Because let me tell you what happened. When Joseph got in the palace and Joseph got on the anointing of God and he was focused on kingdom ministry, the Bible said when we read in a few minutes that as he focused his own kingdom ministry, that the anointing fell so favor over his life, that Potiphar gave him one of his daughter. He had to go from the pit to the palace. What am I saying? Some of y'all ain't got your mate because you're not where God wants you to be. And he trying to move you up academically. And he trying to move you up successfully. Because when you get where God is calling you, your mate will already be there. Good God Almighty, I felt something right there. So why are you looking? Start looking towards him. Because everything you need, he got for you. It said that part of his wife became the uh, 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 Joseph wife came from part of his daughter. Good God Almighty. And he bare two babies. And everything he dreamed. In my notes, under the ocean, be, 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 it said that everything he dreamed, that God brought it back to him as his remembrance. It said God brought it back to his remembrance. That same dream that he had, God made that thing manifest at 30 years old. And the problem is that when God gives you a dream, you got to sit there and get ready to get birthed out. He gave it to him at 17, but he didn't walk in it until 30. That's what's going on. Some of us ready to go ahead because God said it's time to do this because you God gave you a word, but you haven't been nurtured. The potter hasn't built you. You haven't shot up one of your leaders. You don't understand fasting and prayer. You don't understand spiritual warfare, good God Almighty. He didn't move right there at 17. Had he not went through what he went through from 17 all the way through 30, he wouldn't have the wisdom to rule the way he ruled, good God Almighty. Do you hear me? He wasn't ready to rule until God said he was ready to rule. Just like Jesus. Jesus was teaching at 12, but he didn't die until he was in his 30s. Good God of mine. I come to tell you tonight, don't move too fast. You might miss out on the anointing if you move too fast. Don't move off your emotion. Move when God tell you to move. Because as you can see, there was a change in the atmosphere when Joseph began to move. Joseph went through the put. And that tells you right there that you're going to have some hard times. You're going to have some naysayers. You're going to have some people that doubt your anointing. But if God be for you, he's more than a world against you. I want to wrap it up. Good God am I. Prophet Kiana, if you can read with me uh, chapter 41, verse 41 through 44. Let us go there real quick. Good God am I. And Pharaoh Christ. said to Joseph, see, I have set you over all the land of Egypt. Then Pharaoh took his signet ring off his hand and put it on Joseph's hand. And he clothed him in garments of fine linen and put a gold chain around his neck. And he had him ride in a second chariot, which he had. And they cried out before him, bow the knee. So he set him over all the land of Egypt. Pharaoh also said to Joseph, I am Pharaoh, and without your consent, no man may lift his hand or foot in all the land of Egypt. My God, my God, do y'all see that? Did y'all see what happened? His father gave him a coat, and that's what happened. I feel this thing. Father gave him a coat, and his brother tore it up, tore it up. But when you come in greatness and in the power of God, he'll restore everything. Not only did he get fine linen on the 42 verse, but the Bible said that he made him ruler over all of Egypt, blessed him with a wife, gave him a ring to signify that there was a change. There was a change on the inside. And Joseph was humming enough. And guess what happened, y'all? Guess what happened as I wrap it up? The same people that tore off his linen and the same people that tore him in the pit 
and the same people that put their mouth on him and the same people that tried to tear down his dream. God brought them back before him. And instead of Joseph belittling him and doing the wrong, at the end it said that he restored his brothers to the point that when he brought the family towards Pharaoh, good God am I, when he brought the family towards Pharaoh, that not only was Pharaoh honored to know who his bloodline was, but the Bible said that he blessed his father, his mother, his sister and brothers and generations to come to be a part of the land. They didn't have to go, good God Almighty. They didn't have to beg no more and, and go thousand a mile for food. But he allowed his enemy. What did he say in the 23rd Psalm? This is what God mean when he said, I'll prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. Good God Almighty. And your enemies could be your co-workers. Your enemies could be your siblings. Your enemies could be that demonic spirit that's fighting your mind. Give it to God. Give it to God. And when you do things like that, get in the presence of God and, and, and seek him. He'll show you your purpose and destiny. And I come to tell you, your trouble is because of your anointing. Your trouble is because of your anointing. Because of the anointing on your voice. Because of the anointing in your ability to learn. Because of your ability to create the, 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 uh, the, your trouble brought you here because of your anointing. But guess what? I come to sound the trumpet. God employed your trouble to work in your favor. God employed your trouble to sound the trumpet and work in your favor. And I come to tell you right now, that's how you know God loves you. That's how you know God is here for you. It's because he looked, he took enough time to stop the bullet from hitting you. He took enough time to restore your family. He took enough time to give you a word when you felt like you was lost. It is not too late to receive the same God that Joseph had. It is not too late to, to receive the same God that's on the inside. When you get the power of God, it'll give you joy, unspeakable joy. It'll get rid of religion. Good God Almighty, and give you relationship. It'll open your ears to hear what he's saying to you. When you get in the presence of God, and it's never too late to come before the power and the presence of God. If you would like to come before the power and the presence of God, I invite you on this evening to just pray this prayer with me. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I ask that you will allow me to die out and decrease so that your word will come into my heart. I believe that you are the King of kings and Lord of lords. I believe that you died for my sins. I believe that I'm not too young, not too old, not too smart, or not too wise, to know that you are the only true living God, and except I receive you unto myself, I cannot enter into the kingdom of God, I don't want to be lost, I don't want to go to hell, I need you to come and see about me right now, right now on this Friday, where I am free from people, places, and things, where I am free for whoever look over me. God, I understand. I thought that I'm missing something because I'm in your realm. I thought maybe I'm missing something, God, because I, I, I feel like the religious people said you got to do it this way. You got to do it this way. I want to know you, God. I want to acknowledge you so that you can convict me and direct my path so that you can give me understanding and wisdom how to so that I can seek you so that my life could be a light unto somebody else so that the bible that's in me may be the only bible that that someone knows God come into my heart I thank you that I've accepted you as my lord and savior on this Friday evening and not a traditional day, but on this Friday evening, I accept you. I accept you in the car. I accept you in the bathroom. I accept you over this virtual line. I accept you just as I am, right in the state with the beer can in my hand, with the cigarette in my hand. I accept you right now in the name of Jesus. And because I believe that you died for me, that today I am saved. And if you prayed that prayer, my God, then he has restored you. He has done it for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I thank God for the opportunity to serve you with the word of God. And I give it back to the overseer, Pastor Shunda Obi. God bless you.
Well, my God, hallelujah, glory to God. Everybody on camera, my, 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 hallelujah, my God, Jesus, hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. Trouble, trouble. Thank you, Jesus. Me. Hallelujah. Trouble. Holy Ghost, that anointing Only because of my anointing. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Come on, Lady Victor. Amen. Come on, Lady Victor. Amen. My, 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 my. Oh, glory to God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah! Mm. Hallelujah! Lord, everybody. I didn't hear you call me, but I'm here now. Hallelujah. I thank and praise God for you, woman of God, prophetess Emma. You brought the word on tonight. And, and I heard you say, your trouble brought, brought me because of my anointing. Good God Almighty. It was because of the anointing. Sometimes we got to go through some things in order to get there. Sometimes we got to fight the, the good fight, amen, in order to get there, amen. Sometimes we don't want to be in the battle, and we feel like we're alone in the battle, but we had to fight to get there. So I truly thank and praise God, because everybody don't have kingdom mentality. Everybody can't make it to the palace, like you said. So I thank and praise God, because we serve the same God, and I pray that everybody that don't know the Lord begins to find God because of the message that you brought on tonight. God bless you, and I love you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. For some reason I can't hear nothing, but to God be the glory for that word, prophetess Alma. It was a blessing. I speak as a witness, amen, because God had truly turned my trouble into a testimony, amen. I'm a living witness of going through a lot of trouble and God bringing me into the best end that, you know, I could even imagine, amen, and it's not even the end, it's only the beginning, amen, of what God is going to do in our lives, I just thank God on to, today for that word, you letting God use you, because as, as soon as soon as you gave the topic, I just knew, this, oh yeah, this is for me, amen, and I just thank God for you, yeah, God, God, I, I done been through a lot of trouble, and we all have the Bible tells us through many tribulations, we must enter into the kingdom of heaven. And he also tells us that many afflictions come to the righteous, but he will deliver us out of them all. And, and that testimony is a true testimony. He done delivered me from every trouble, from every affliction, from every hard time I done suffer. God had delivered me through it all. And I know that he going to deliver me through many more. And I ain't worried about him coming because I know Jesus got me. In the name of Jesus, I thank you for that word. It truly was a blessing to my heart. In Jesus' name. It was a right now word. Uh, woman of God, it was a right now word for not only the millennials, but it was for everybody, for family members, amen, because family members really can be your enemies. They really can. And I just thank God that, and I hope that everybody out here got had to get something out of this message, amen. They had to get something out of this message because if not, I, 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 I wouldn't, I, I don't know what to tell you. You know, this was one powerful message tied up in a lot of other messages. There was some messages and messages and messages in this one message. Amen. And I just thank God for God using you the way that he did on tonight. Amen. And I, I, I'm with eternity right now. Amen. All the trouble, all of the mishaps, all of the stuff was because of the anointing. Somebody put their phone on mute because this is a lot of noise. Hallelujah. 
Amen. Because of the anointing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Man, that was powerful. Bishop, Bishop. Praise the Lord. Praise the <laughs> Lord. I'm over, over excited. Amen. I tell you, this conference has took me back. Amen. Mm. I understand what she's saying because trouble has got me to where I am. Amen. Everybody's trying to think about the good time, but a lot of times the good time will get you in trouble. Come Amen. On, yeah. But I'm here to tell you that I understood that word trouble has made me what I am today because I was just like Joseph. No matter what nobody said or no nobody what nobody did, Come on. I'm going to stay on the Lord's side. And his trouble got him to be the second man in charge of the whole, my God. See, we need to start worrying about trouble. Amen. We need to start worrying about these good times. We need to start oh, worrying about things going good. Amen. That's what's going to get you in trouble. But if you go through trouble with my God, he said, if you suffer with me, you're going to reign with me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Prophet Emma. Amen. Thank you for reminding me about how good trouble is. Amen. I hope everybody got that. Don't worry about the trouble. Amen. Trouble can get you to your destiny. Amen. Because like the eternal said, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but God will deliver us out of them all. Sound your trumpet that this trouble going to make me the head and not the tail, that this trouble going to get me healed and not sick, that this trouble going to make me the lender and not the borrower, that this trouble going to take me all the way to, my, mm, to what God has for me to do. Thank God for trouble. <laughs> hey, man, because that trouble have worked for me. That's why I'm a bishop, because of the trouble. That's why I can hold on to God's hand because of my trouble. Amen? Because it's now, it's working for me. All I got to do is look to the hill from which comes all my help when trouble comes. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord for that wonderful word. Amen. I tell you, y'all got me. I got to change my shoes. I got to, I'm going to have to, it's it just, it's okay. I'm I'm, I'm going to leave. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Praise the Lord. Wonderful word. Amen. Powerful. <laughs> and you stuck with it. Amen. That is, oh, I, I'm just overexcited. Amen. I'm, I'm just, thank God for trouble working. Amen. For me. Amen. Amen. It's just like the, the senator. Amen. John Lewis, uh, representative John Lewis, I always said good trouble. Amen. Good trouble. Good trouble. Good trouble. Come over here. Good trouble. That's what it took me, you know, right there what he said, good trouble. Like you said, you got to worry about, hey, the good things. Trouble? Come on here. If ain't no opposition, you might want to check yourself. Amen. For you work yourself. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, Pastor Hill and uh, Pastor B, so we can come on and get on off here. Amen. Pastor B, come on. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm just full. I just want you to know I'm blessed. I look forward to that. I came with expectation. It's just something about your voice that I know from the day I met you, I knew God was going to use you strategically. And today you have proven him correctly and right and just lifted me up into a place, hallelujah, that I felt the glory of God. I know God has really got some work, hallelujah, that he has for you to do. And you're going to do it very well. I just loved it. I enjoyed your word. Your word was so powerful. I did a watch party. You need to go back and look. I was texting all kind of crazy because I was too excited. The excitement had me just, oh my God. And I'm so excited because the world needed to hear what God had to say. You, know, you did that. You did that. You bought it in and you took us all the way through. And I just thank you because I love the story of Joseph. I love it. It's a part of my life. Yeah. I believe I walked and walk. I believe God did these things for me. I believe that I'm able to stand in victory because of God did those glorious things. And yes, trouble bought me through. And I thank God for the trouble. I thank God for your word. And I just ask you to just continue to be 
bold because you're a bold woman of God. I love your boldness. I love that you stand firm on what you believe. And I love that. And I just ask you to continue to allow him to use you. And victory is truly going to be yours in Amen. Jesus' name. Bless you, woman of God. Bless you. Amen. Pastor Hill. Amen. Amen. I would just say, like to say to God, be the glory. And if any doubt was anywhere in my mind or in anybody's mind, amen, we know now, amen, that because of the anointing that's on our lives, in other words, all the hell you've been through, uh, because of all the hell that you're going through, is because the anointing that is up on your life. And you know, in the in the trouble was not ordained by the devil, but God employed the trouble. And we know all things work together for the good of those that love the Lord and call according to his purpose. Amen, the good, bad, and the ugly. I just would like to thank the woman of God, amen, for allowing God to use her in such a manner, amen, in this season, amen, to sound the alarm, amen, and blow the trumpet, amen, and the trumpet, amen, it been sounding loud and clear all week long. And I yeah. thank you, amen, for letting God use you and encourage you to just continue, amen, to let God use you boldly, amen, in this season and in this hour. Amen. Love you and may God continue to bless you and keep you. Amen. 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 We love you. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to get you to um, pray us on out um, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, we um, have our own eternity, amen, that's going to wrap up everything, amen, from this whole entire week, amen. I hope everybody has enjoyed this week, because I know I have, hallelujah, everybody should have some fire from the day feast, amen, with these young people that came and bought down this in fire, amen, amen, and I'm expecting a mighty word from the man of God on tomorrow night, amen, closing us on. Tomorrow night, tomorrow night, meet us back, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That is 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Amen, amen. Come on, woman of God, and pray us off. Amen. God bless you. God bless you tonight. Father, we thank you for allowing us to have this virtual youth revival. We ask that you bless everyone that's over the airways, those that are even in the Zoom room, God. We ask that you supply every need, that you will continue to let your fire fall throughout this anointing, this, throughout this week that you're anointing. God, we ask that you bless Brother Eternity for tomorrow as the power of God. Get ready to come forth again in your son Jesus' name as we leave tonight, but not your presence. We love you. God bless you. Amen.